Definitely the best match of my life. I believed in myself. I believed in my game. I believed that, you know, playing serve and volley against him and, and slicing a lot and uh, trying to destroy his rhythm was going to work, which it did in the end. I feel like it's, it's a very different mindset you need to have as a serve and volley. You need to go to the net and maybe get past for two sets and then it kind of changes in, in the end. And if it doesn't, then you just walk off the court, you shake hands, you say, okay, well done, you passed me too well. I was playing pretty well when I was 21 years old. I was 45 in the world and then um, I had a couple injuries, but then also maybe I didn't focus enough on tennis. Maybe I didn't work hard enough. And there's just different little things that just lead to not maximizing your potential and then fractured my wrist, fractured ribs, and then herniated disc and all that stuff. And at one point you just, you're never healthy and you don't feel like it's fun anymore. Like you try to play, but you get hurt again. And in those times when you just don't, don't feel like really working that hard anymore, playing. And then I think I needed to drop to really like the bottom, like with the wrist injury two years ago. And uh, it was my brother who said, you know, you can, you can make it back. You can be top 100 again and, you know, be, be a great player. It wasn't easy because I, I dropped to like 1100, I think beginning of uh, 2015, I was, I was ranked very, very low. Having such a great family where like my brother's doing well and the whole family is there to support you, it was, it was a long journey, but it was a fun one.